Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is May 29th, 2020, Friday, and today we have Invest 92L. This is the third Invest of the season, and the hurricane season did not even start. And the hurricane season is, is supposed to start June 1st, 2020. So let's check up on this system. So... A broad area of low pressure appears to be developing over the central Atlantic Ocean, several hundred miles east-southwest of Bermuda. This disturbance is producing a large area of showers and thunderstorms and gusty winds. Additional development for the system is possible, and a subtropical depression could form tonight or on Saturday as it moves generally northward. Development is not expected after the time due to unfavorable environmental conditions. Next... Special tropical weather outlook will be issued by 9 p.m. EDT today or earlier if necessary. For formation chance of 48 hours, which is 2 days, medium 50%. Information chance through 5 days, medium 50%. So I think this, I predict this to only become a subtropical depression just because of where it is in the location. And I just don't see it becoming crystal ball, or however you want to pronounce it. A name storm outside. And then we see a bunch of clouds in the Gulf of Mexico, which is really odd. And then we have another tropical disturbance in the eastern Pacific. A thorough of low pressure located a couple of hundred miles south of the coast of Central America in southern Mexico continues to produce disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Although the system remains poorly organized, environmental conditions appear conducted for gradual development and a tropical depression could form this weekend. This, this disturbance is expected to move slowly northward towards Central America and southern Mexico during the next couple of days. Regardless of development, this system is expected to produce heavy rainfall over the portions of Central America and southern Mexico this weekend and early next week. These rains could cause life-threatening flash floods and mudslides, especially in areas of mountainous terrain. See, see products from your local weather office for additional formation information so formation chance through 48 hours which is two days medium 50 percent information chance through five days high 70 percent now that that could possibly develop into amanda i predict again a trap depression only because actually it might just ride up the coast of Central America and Mexico, so who knows? So if we look at Invest 92L on Tropical Tidbits, it has maximum winds 25 knots, which is 30 miles per hour, and has 1,015 millibars. So this is what it looks like on satellite imagery. So this is what it looks like. And like pretty disorganized in my opinion because I think this is the middle right over here yeah because I can't tell where that is so yeah and this is the exact location of invest 92l but here is one spaghetti model it is showing that the storm might go up here. A lot of the models actually predict that. Second spaghetti model. This model predicts it just staying out of weak tropical depression. But some models think that will change up here in the north. And then lastly, we have this model which still predicts it as a tropical depression. But it's like all the models are might be agreeing to like it going north and then west and then going northeast and then going northwest. So I don't know. Probably what will happen. 
And then we see in verse 92, model intensity guidance. Two, three models predict it becoming a tropical storm. I just don't see it becoming a tropical storm in my opinion. And, yeah. So, we are now going to go on the forecast models. And the first model we're going to look at is the GFS model. Yeah. So, there it is. MS-92L. And here is the tropical disturbance in the eastern Pacific. There might be some development up here. So, as you can see, some... Wow. Whoa. Okay, so we see two storms. One just made landfall in Mexico, and then the other just, um, let's just replay it. So, basically you see this. Oh, you see something right here too. You see some development right over here. And then, we already saw that. And then it becomes a tropical storm. Hmm. What do you guys think? Hmm. Next, we're going to look at the CMC model. So, <clears throat> it does show Invest 92L, but barely. And then you see that development area in the Gulf and then it the CMC model it just makes it go in circles uh, if we slow it down a bit you can see that it's going in a circle right over like a loop and then it just leaves off to here thousand one millibar tropical storm the other one showed about a category one category two in the gulf hmm, i think that's way too early for this but um i don't think this should be a hurricane in june i think it's a bit early for that now we're going to look at the navgen model so, it, it does show Invest-92L, but barely. And then you see the Eastern Pacific Storm. Trans um, yeah, you don't see anything, actually. You just see the Eastern Pacific Storm forming, and then it's making landfall in, in Mexico. And then you see at the last hour. You see some Atlantic storm, which is what we were seeing around this time last year. Like some development, like in June, June, yeah, June. We could see like that type of storm. So now we're going to look at the icon model. Um, it doesn't show much at all, actually. Let's look at this one much better so it does show invest 92l again barely and then it shows a really strong tropical storm and then some formation in the gulf and then you see that tropical storm but barely so yeah so guys, this is my 2020 Atlantic hurricane season prediction. So the total storms I predict is 18 to 21 storms. Name storms 18 to 20. So I think I predict like there's at least going to be one depression because of that Invest 92 storm, 92L. So hurricanes 6 to 11 because we are expected to have a 
La Nina later, so like there could possibly be like more hurricanes and major hurricanes two to four. So actually, I need to update the major hurricanes. Okay, I changed it three to six major hurricanes. So it is very impossible to make the same amount of hurricanes, major hurricanes, and I don't, I ha I haven't heard anything about that, but just say something about it. I don't know if there's anything, like, if there's the same amount of hurricanes as majors. Anyways, so for June, I predict one to three storms, July two to five, August three to seven, September five to nine, October four to eight, November one to two, and for December, I just left question mark because we don't know what's going to happen in December. So, now we're going to go back on Tropical Tippets. So, everyone, this model run is, uh, it just, yikes. So, let's check it out. I just looked at it before I'm showing you guys. Eesh, and it's scary. Because just to look at it, it's just a lot. You'll see. So you see that Eastern Pacific storm. Oh, wow. A hurricane. Oh, I didn't see this fully. And then you see this storm. Another hurricane. What? And then, whoa. 950. And then you see it going in the Gulf. Wow. Okay. I only saw the last part. So 954 millibars. What do you guys think about that? That is 100% not happening. Uh, 951 millibars. And it hits Cuba. And it affects Florida. I'm just in a state of shock. This is its strongest. And when it hits Cuba. Wow. That is crazy. Now we're going to go. Let's check out the 12Z. Because the GFS model is crazy. Okay. So it shows the storm again. But then it hits Cuba. Hmm. Um, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, sorry about that. But we need to look at the models. So, this, it shows an, a tropical storm. Wow. It shows a tropical storm making landfall. Mm. Okay, so now we are going to look at this once again, because I look at it every day. So, for June, it does look a bit cooler in June, like, some cold waters in the north. In July, it gets way warmer, but still a cold spot over here. It's like a little circle. Um, I'm not saying anything, but <clears throat> this is August. It gets, it's still warm. And then in September, it's really warm in the Caribbean and in the Gulf. The MDR is like, eesh. it's like warm everywhere. And then for October, which is where the La Nina is expected to begin you see warmer temperatures up in the north november yeah you still see some no you see some some really warm temperatures like near africa and like the east side of the atlantic ocean and then december you see really really warm waters up here And then this is January. It is really warm in January and February. 
let's look at the Eastern Pacific. That is where it's supposed to be El Nino. So, this is June. There are some favorable conditions right in this area, but that's like it. It's like really cold. July. Oh, November. Okay, this is July. This is June. Okay, like I said, there's warm, there's like warm waters. July, it gets a bit cooler, like down in south. August, well, not, you can like see some, like, you could possibly see depressions at this point. September, um, you can like mostly make the storms get stronger up here, but then that's it. October, it gets like neutral, it gets a bit warmer over here. Oh, this is October, you know what? And then this is November again, and a bit cooler over here. December, January, and February. Now, I think 2021, it got warmer in January and February, so um, I don't know why it did that, but yeah, and I hope you guys have an awesome time watching this video and premiere subscribe turn the post notifications i know it's a long video but yeah bye